Cleveland Cooper is a, uh, a novel about a, uh, a private investigator who is looking for a, a missing girl who has uh, been abducted. It involves a few serial killers. It has a, a guy who's obsessed with uh, serial killers and he starts a collection where he's trying to put together as much memorabilia as he can with the ultimate goal of, of actually abducting a, a serial killer. So it all comes together as a private investigator is, is looking for this girl and obviously uh, she becomes part of this collection as well and uh, you know, the job is for the private eye, Dead or Tate, to uh, try and save her. Basically, you know, growing up, being a writer was one thing I always wanted to do. And then when I was 19, you know, one of my friends said to me, you know, what is it you want to do in life? And I'm like, well, you know, I'd like to be a writer. Never thinking that I'd try it. And she said, well, you know, why don't you try it? And it was, it was weird. It was just like putting this simple thing into action. I thought, well, I, I can give it a go. And, and I did. And, uh, you know, I started writing some really awful stuff. And, you know, each one led to another awful stuff, which wasn't quite as bad, and finally led through to the cleaner. And, uh, you know, and it all took off from there. When I started writing, I wanted to write horror. It was all I ever read was Dean Koontz and uh, Stephen King, and those sort of guys, and that was really what I wanted to write. And then, I think, you know, when I was 24 or 25, I started reading these uh, books by John Douglas, who writes the the FBI uh, Mindhunter books about serial killers. And I realised that that's actually what the real horror is, is, is real life. When I write, I kind of give. Uh, a lot of the main characters, I give sort of my viewpoint on life. Theodore Tate, again in the, in the new book, um, I sort of gave him all my values. And these are kind of guys that I like to think, you know, I would do the same thing that they would do in their situation. Not that I ever would, but, you know, that's the cool thing about writing is you can sort of, you know, uh, pretend that you are them and you can pretend um, to do those same things.